All right, Halos, welcome back. We're once again back in Minecraft Dungeons. Once again, I'm getting the name right this time. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're definitely gonna check out some more levels here. We just finished the first mission, and we'll, let's go ahead and go right on to the next one. We unlocked a bunch of other stuff. Um, this is one of the little missions and locations that we actually secretly unlocked um, by completing the Squid Coast, I believe. Or no, no, it was, Cre it was Creeper Woods, I believe. Yeah, that's what we did last time. Uh, we did Squid, Squid Coast is the tutorial mission, actually. Um, but yeah, that's what we got last time, and let's go ahead and do this one now. Uh, recommended power is f four for this uh, difficulty, and our current power is three, but that's fine. I'm not really worried about it, honestly. Uh, we'll do four. I'm not. That that should be fine. It shouldn't be a big deal, and it, it'll increase the difficulty. Depending on how much less power you actually have. Um, but yeah, let's do the creepy crypt, shall we? Let's do this version of it, and not the, not the super hard one. <laughs> At least not yet. Uh, so yeah, let's go into it. Secret mission. <clears throat> Alright. New objective, find the lost tome in the creepy crypt. So we can't go down this way, but as you can see, it's kind of in the area of the old map. So yeah, let's go through this direction. The enemies are clearly harder. <clears throat> um, let's go ahead and clear out the little areas first. Try to get those guys if we can. Nice, good stuff. Alright, let's continue on. Some of these will fall out from under you. Ouch, yep, yeah, that hurt a lot. Yeah, if you don't kill the creepers fast enough, obviously they'll they'll try to kill you. Uh, this looks like it's the way to go, actually. So let me go back and do go the way that we need to not go first, because uh, we definitely want to get as much stuff as we can, especially early levels. But honestly, just like the whole time. So it looks like we passed up a chest a little bit on the way, and all this stuff down here we want to definitely check out. So let's let's head that way real fast. Grab this chest real quick, though. Arrow bundle, nice. Don't mind if I do. Rank up. Oh, nice. Got pig splat and brown tabby. All right, nice. Season three rank up. Yeah, all this the season stuff is new to me. He didn't have that back when I first started playing, but it's, I like it, it's cool. I like unlocking cool things. Nice. Used our third hit on that guy, so that's good. No bonus things over there. How about we check some of these rooms? Rooms. Uh, speaking of which, though, let's go ahead and change our cosmetic guy. Let's do, uh, let's do the Arctic Fox. Sure. Nice. Forgot we can also use our uh, fishing pole as well, which will definitely help against the creepers and such. I think. Uh, this is a bonus room, so we press this and we have to f defeat enemies here now. Once we kill the last enemy, we get our bonus stuff. Looks like just a regular sword, though. Ambush and looting. Okay. Not too bad. Get an apple here so we can restore some of our health, which is nice. Let's go down here and then we'll check that first room once we come on the way back. 
yeah, nice little dungeon here. Looks like there's an, a spider over there, evidently. How long is the stun duration again? 3.1 seconds, but obviously you can chain stun them if you just keep pressing it, so. thing here is a chest it looks like. Oh cool, we got a twin bow. Okay, let's check out what that is. Uh, level 8, ooh that's awesome. Okay, shoots two enemies at once, 15 to 38, which is way better than what I have right now. And then it has enchantments, accelerates, increases attack speed for each consecutive shot, resets one second after the attack, and then dipping poison. When you use a health potion, you are given a quiver of poison arrows. That's pretty cool. Our fox seems to have got a little trapped there. That's fine. Okay, we got a, another twin bow, but it's one level worse. Uh, it does have some other stuff though. Ricochet is pretty nice actually, uh, but we're not. We don't need it right now. All right, let's head back uh, this way. Yes, and then this way, and then a right kind of. Well, basically a straight actually. And then we want to check out this little area over off to the side there. Because we can use this to speed up a little bit. Nice. Alright, we're not going to have our mushroom for this little fight over here though. But that should be okay. my health potion there I think. Maybe I didn't have to, but yeah, okay, there's a pickaxe. Pickaxes are kind of useful, they're just like consistent damage. Um, it's pretty decent. They've got some other enchantments as well, fire aspect and such. Is it a chance? No, it just straight up sets them on fire, okay. Good to know, good to know. I think that's pretty much it for this. There might be an extra one down here, like a pot or something, but yeah. But other than that, pretty much done with that area. I'm actually going to swap these around a little bit. Oh, I, I have to wait for it to go off cooldown first. That's fine. Okay, there we go. Now I can do it. I'm going to swap this to being our first slot, and then that's perfectly fine in second. And then that is also perfectly fine in third. So yeah, let's continue on. Back to what we were doing first off. Let's continue exploring this direction. Nice. Nothing else over here it looks like. Sure, I'll take that with an arrow, that's fine. attack speed from the mushroom. Take those guys out quickly. Um, I think it wants us to go down, so let's go straight. Activate that, we have a little boss fight here. Yes, we got it. Got a bunch of potions there. chest over here. Hunter's armor is actually better than what we have it looks like. Yeah, it's the same type of thing but just a higher level basically. Um, so that's good. Power level is 5 so that's, that helps us get better loot as well. Nice. Alright, let's change our little pet here. Let's go to the parrot for a little bit. 
Alright, we need to go down once we get to this little room here. That should be the way to go. Little bonus, uh, bonus little thing there. Nice gems. Anyone down here? Nope. Alright, let's continue on. Looks like a boss room. Or something. Maybe a uh, attack. Open gates, okay. chest here as well. Let's grab that. A level 7 sword. That's better than I, what I have actually. My current one is 15 to 23 damage. This is also 15 to 23, but it's just better um, because it's the level. So let's go ahead and salvage that bad boy, I think. Actually, we'll keep it for now, I guess, but I want that enchantment level back pretty soon. Uh, we've got committed. Increased damage against already wounded enemies. Could be useful. Has a 30% chance to summon Excuse me, a lightning strike that damages nearby enemies, thundering, and then busy bee, chance to summon a bee after defeating a mob with up to three bees joining your side. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, I wonder how long they stay for, though. I think committed is probably our best bet. Let's go with that for now. Acrobat, which is the cooldown time between your rolls. That's pretty nice, actually. I like that. Sometimes create random consumables. Didn't mean to do that, but it's fine. Anything over here that I missed? Doesn't seem like it, at least. Swiftness potion, yes please. as I can while I have the mushroom bonus. Nice, good. Nothing in here it looks like. There's the tome, I think. Let's go ahead and grab all these real fast before we do that. Nice. Another sword. I think that was level. S oh, it was just level one. Never mind. Thought I said level seven actually, but evidently not. Evidently not. Um. Yeah. Let's go ahead and grab it. Leave the crypts. Level 7, I think it said? Ooh, nice, okay. 39 melee damage, flat. That's way better than what I have right now. Doesn't attack as fast, I don't think, but yeah, you can see the power, the speed, and the area. Um, so my mine has a little better speed and a little bit better area of attack, but this is better single target damage and a lot more power on it. I'm gonna go ahead and use it a little bit just to kind of show you guys at least. When you defeat a mod, you're given a temporary shield that reduces, da reduces damage by 50%. 
committed is that same other thing. All right, uh, let's go up since it looks like it wants us to go down. Oh man. There we go. Yeah, I hate getting trapped, it's so annoying. We do have the strength buff on, which is nice, but yeah, as you can see, this weapon's pretty good. Alright, that should be all this little area. Let's go to the downward area where it wants us to head to. by one point. Twin bow shoots two enemies at once. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, this is a charged bow, but it is a little bit better. It doesn't look like it's going to actually up move up my power at all, so I'm actually going to keep what I have for right now. Alright, pickaxe, level one. Not really worth it for me. for us. Oh nice, we got a bonus room here. Let's go. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Pressing all the wrong buttons. There we go, last one. Another sword, but not quite what we need. It's a level 5 sword, not what we want. Let's go to the way it wants us to go now. Go down first, though. A little bonus room. Easy one for us. Get a few more emeralds. Got 750 or 17 now, actually. Nice, nice. There's two of them there. Looked like one. Grab the free sword. Sorry if I don't talk as much, I, uh, I'm definitely concentrating. <laughs> like right there, messing up my controls. Ooh, Hunter's Armor is better than what I have, nice. That's good. Uh, and then... This stuff I'm not worried about, they're not as good as what I have. That's where it wants me to go, so let's go on this bonus side first. Let's 
strength potion. It's like a couple of them actually, maybe. Nothing extra over there, it doesn't look like it. Oh, that's a wall actually. <laughs> in there it looks like. Oops, may have wasted my mushroom, but that's okay. There we go. That should be the last guy. Open up this, got Hunter's Armor, Shadow Brew, and Strength. Alright, let's head out. Use that to kill most of those guys. The ambience music. Ambiance, however you say the word. <laughs> Alright, that should be most all of them. That should be leaving the crypts right here, so we're getting pretty close now. I hear another enemy though. Might be this guy up here though. Yeah, I think it is. Nice. Picked up another sword. That should be the end. Oh, not quite the end, but pretty close. New objective, leave the crypts. Crypts. So let's not go there yet. Let's go up this direction first. Ooh. Nothing down here, right? Sometimes there are hidden chests, like I said, so. You sometimes want to walk a little bit close just to be safe. Wolf sounds like it's right there or something. It's going crazy though. Pickaxe. Let's check out this direction and then we'll go down that little dungeon way that I haven't been yet. I think. We got another one. Well, we got a bunch of dungeons in this one. You can see the secret chest, or the chests found, uh, or chests opened and secrets found as well. Nothing down there. Down there. All right, over here. You can actually stack uh, TNT on each other, by the way, as you can see here, which is kind of funny. Um. I suppose a little better, but like, I don't really want to charge it right now, you know what I mean? I think it's a charge bow, isn't it? Dynamo. Might not be actually, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and use it and see. Oh, we to that. Okay, yeah, it is a charge bow. Which is useful. I guess mine is charge bow as well. Eh, whatever. I guess I guess we'll cook it for now. Even though it doesn't really give us anything extra. All right. Seems like it. That's it for this area. Let's go ahead and head back out. This one's a little bit longer than I thought. Actually, it's, a, it's quite a large one. Usually, it's not quite this big, but I appreciate it being big, honestly. Oh my 
gosh, stop. No. <laughs> Keep pressing the wrong buttons. Kind of annoying myself. Okay, there we go. Nothing down here. I was very close to exploding. He didn't know, so that's good. Nicely done. Potion, love to see that. Alright, nice. That's almost the last area here. We've got to get this little one up here, then we can head back out. Should be all of them. We'll go ahead and switch our little friend over here real fast. Go ahead and make a baby chicken. <laughs> so cute. Alright, that's both of those done. I believe this is the one we came out of, so let's go the right way now. The way that it wants us to go, at least. Nothing up there. Some nice little gems there. That's what we like to see. Chest in the corner, some strength potion on it. area. See what we got. <clears throat> Anything in here? No. Sometimes there's things to activate. Maybe there was a chest, but I don't think there was. It will damage you, by the way, if you're nearby, so be careful when you're throwing TNT for sure. Level up, nice. Another 
enchantment point earned. That's what we like to see. Nice, nice. Get me out. Sorry, there we go. Let's head back up this direction over here. Nice enchantments on it though, not gonna lie. Didn't mean to pop that, but I'll take it anyway. Start going to the end of the map. Should be pretty close to it already, but not quite there just yet. Nice little chest over here. Pickaxe, swiftness potion, I like that. Okay, well, almost all the chests open on the map. Like no enemies this time. All right, let's head straight out. Victory! All right, and then we'll uh, unlock our little free artifact that we get after completing each uh, each place. There's a little rundown of the stats we got there, and then this guy. Sometimes I forget you have to click to open it. Uh, Soul Lantern. This lantern is still covered in the sands of time or sands of some far-flung place, allows those who hold it to summon a creature formed from bound souls. Okay, interesting. I actually don't remember what that is. Summon damage. Interesting. Okay, let's try it out, honestly. Um, let's go ahead and replace the firework arrow. Although, nah, let's do the firework arrow there. What happens if I do this? Oh, what the heck? I've never seen that before. That's very new. I like it, though. You could teleport it back to you, of course. Alright, well, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next part for the next mission. Alright, peace.